Well, if you don't know where your long underwear are, now might be a good time to check. Or at the very least, stock up on some firewood while you still can. Do you, do you know what Dr. Dentons are? No, I'm yeah. afraid. We're on live TV, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aging myself, probably. But look it up. Look it up. Okay. It, it's kind of like long underwear. It's what they wore a long time ago. They have drop drawers? <laughs> they, they do. Actually, they do. The Dr. Dentons, yeah. We're getting way but off course here. It, that, so you're going to need that, and you're going to have to find the gloves and the hat, put those in the car because mm -hmm. you're going to be running it out. And it's not so much this first push of colder air. We've had temperatures this cool before, but gradually over the next 10 days, each front keeps getting us colder and colder. So okay. You'll see what I mean in just a second. I'm afraid. Yeah, with no more Dr. Denton's. I'll take a look. People are going to look it up and go, oh, I remember seeing those in the movies. Take a look. You see there's rain showers out. Most of it is out to the west, moving northeast. So it's clipping parts of mid-Michigan at this hour, but we're going to have to wait for more and more of it to progress eastward. So there will be many parts of mid-Michigan that may not catch a shower until we get towards dawn. Obviously, the further south and east you live, those are the folks that will miss out on the, most of the showers till morning. Our temperatures, well, <clears throat> where the rain is starting is in the 40s. The cloud cover uh, readings are a little thinner. It's a little cooler, 37 there in Ann Arbor because those clouds are thinner. But everybody's going to hold in the low 40s tonight with the rain moving in. And we'll climb to the mid to upper 40s tomorrow, which is below normal. The normal's still about 51 or 52. We won't get that warm anymore. We had the 50s today for a final day. 55 in Lansing and Jackson, well above normal. No 60s today like we saw yesterday, but those readings are now are going the other way. We're going to be flirting from 40s to 30s over the next 7 to 10 days, maybe even longer. These uh, readings that we're getting out here now are, are going to be considered mild by the time we get into uh, next week. The cold air has been in place to our north all week long. It's now settling southward. As this low goes by, we'll keep a south wind going and then it'll turn to the east and later tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, we should have a northeast flow and you never warm up with a northeast wind. It's not going to happen. So temperatures are going to drop dramatically and the wind's going to be out of the north several times in the next couple of days to keep our temperatures on the cool side. So the low spinning away now here in southern Wisconsin. It's going to go just to our southern border and spread those rain showers in. Yeah, that's some wet snow. Central Wisconsin might even get a coating of wet snow tonight into the morning hours. It'll be all rain when it gets here and maybe very late about this time tomorrow we might see a few passing snow showers as the system does depart. There's the rains that along the front we had just the other day and there's our low pressure center. Look at the uh, push of warm air going way off to the north. The western half of the nation is going to heat up nicely. They are going to have a spectacular November. That means the eastern half of the nation, almost the eastern two-thirds from the Rockies eastward by next week will be all very, very cold and well below normal for this time of year. Let's take a look at the first storm at hand. We've got a spinning away in Wisconsin, so there's the rain showers as we head towards dawn. You see it's very steady. Uh, periods of light rain will be with us throughout the day. Towards evening and midnight, as the rain starts to depart, see these little blue shades here and there? It's possible to see a few snowflakes, so don't be surprised. Nothing will stick, and that whole system will leave the area overnight. So Friday starts with some sunshine, some partly cloudy skies, but it's a very cold day, and the next system already waiting in the wings. That front will come in on Saturday with rain and snow showers, changing the snow showers Saturday night, and that drops their temperatures even colder for Sunday. So each one of these storms changes the jet stream, changes the jet stream, and while the heat builds out west, eventually the whole eastern half of the nation is going to be looking pretty blue in the jet stream department, which means colder weather. 42 is your low. Showers are developing slowly from west to east here tonight. As we go through the daytime tomorrow, 1 800 Hansen's weather kit is Mystique, H Street. She's from Lansing. 47 degrees. That's the best we can do tomorrow with periods of light rain. And then the winds will really kick up out of the northeast by this time tomorrow, and that drops temperatures dramatically as we look for only 39 on Friday, back to about 44 Saturday, but dropping again at night. And it's a little bit of up and down there, but ultimately you see those temperatures running way below normal for this time of year. This is a, a seven day that I should be showing you late November, early December. That would be normal for this time of year. So we are jumping well ahead to winter like weather. No I doubt. cheated. I looked up your Dr. Che Denton. And they're cute. Aren't it's a they? footed onesie yeah. <laughs> for those who weren't around with, in the 70s. It's a drop part in case you have to use the bathroom. So. Problem solved. Yeah, right. All right, Andy, thank you. <laughs>